You know, I was looking at some of those top whatever lists of the worst games ever made, the worst PC games ever made, and I got to thinking, yeah, I have a lot worse games that are in those lists just in my collection. So basically what I'm going to present here is a list of the top 17 worst PC games that I have in my collection. Now, of course, I haven't played every PC game ever, so there are probably some games that are going to be left out that you think are much worse than some of these. But, you know, whatever. This is the top 17 that I've played and that I have stashed in here for whatever reason or another. So, let's get straight to... Number 17, Streets of Sim City. I hesitated to put this one on here since I really do find it a guilty pleasure, but let's be honest, Streets of Sim City is a terrible racer. The controls are wank, the plot is scattered, and the graphics and sound are mediocre at best. And there's so many bugs that you'd think you were an insectologist or something, not playing a Maxis game. Number 16, Test Drive 4 slash Test Drive Off-Road 2. I lumped these two together because they piss me off equally and use the same game engine. And they're both racing games. Test Drive 4 is just an awful, unresponsive, buggy, evil game that's out to get you, and Test Drive Offer 2 is the same thing, but worse in every way, except with dirt and trucks. I actually broke a keyboard over a brick wall due to this game as a kid. I am dead serious. Number 15, Combat Medic. Now, this one's a bit unique. This game is so terrible it won't even let you start it. I have tried installing this game several times on lots of computers, and have never once got this game to even start. I wanted to try it because the box art and screenshots are just horrendous. It looks amazingly horrible, but alas, we may never know. Number 14, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it's another odd one for the list. This game in itself isn't the most horrible TMNT game I've ever played, but there's one problem. You can't beat the game. Seriously, there is a spot in one level it is impossible to cross effectively ending the game right there and making it impossible to get past. Amazing. Number 13, Depth Dwellers. There are lots and lots of bad Doom clones, but this one is special. I've never seen a shooter with as little everything as Depth Dwellers. It's like the programmers made a decent 3D engine and then had no idea what to do with it whatsoever. The plot is lame, the music is horrible, the sounds are worse, and the levels are confusing, and holy crap, the repetition is enough to make you vomit. I'm serious, I get sick playing this game. It's like saying that you have a car, but in fact, you only have a steering wheel. That's not how it works, man. Number 12, Mega Man. Mega Man is easily one of the better games on the NES, but sadly, poor Rockman's first adventure on the PC did not have such a great start. You must have Jedi reflexes to play PC Mega Man. No, in fact, I don't think that would help at all. Due to the crap controls, atrocious enemy action, and nasty level design, disgrace. Number 11, Outpost. I bought Outpost for $2 brand new, not long after it came out. I was like, why is it so cheap? What the heck? The box makes it look totally sweet, and come on, it's a space strategy game by Sierra. But then you get into the game, and oh, good grief. Horrible interface, horrible gameplay, horrible narration, horrible, horrible, horrible. Nice graphics, convoluted gameplay. Just a serious disappointment. Number 10, Extreme Paint Brawl. You know, contrary to popular lore, this game is actually almost playable. It's a simple FPS using the build engine, and it is what it is. Paintball with non-existent AI, infinite bugs, faulty game mechanics, and the stupidest music ever. It's considered by many to be the worst game of all time, so you know there's some serious crap coming up when Paint Brawl is only number 10. Number 9, Space Bunnies Must Die. I gotta say, this one is just weird. The game is supposed to be like one of those late night sexist B-movies, so it sounded like fun, but man, I don't know what happened. This thing is just broken. The controls suck, the graphics suck, the gameplay is not there, and worst of all, there's absolutely nothing fun about it. It's clunky, ugly, obnoxious, and lame. Number 8, Xenophage Alien Bloodsport. Apogee was known for amazing PC games, usually genre-defining and worth every penny. Then came Xenophage, a fighting game to capitalize on the Mortal Kombat craze. Bug-filled, crap controls, stupid characters, annoying AI, broken collision detection, and a million times more aggravating than fun. Xenophage Alien sucks, Sport. I hope time forgets you because you tarnish Apogee's good name. 
Number 7. Mag Racer I can appreciate games made by one guy, the so-called bedroom programmers, but please don't try and bite off more than you can chew. Mag Racer is a racing game that reminds me of Depth Dwellers somewhat, made by a programmer who had no idea what to do with what he'd just made. The graphics are bizarre and ugly, the cars don't work and are out of control, and the camera is one of the worst I've seen in a racer. All I can think when looking at this mess is WTF avoid. Number 6. Catechumen. Christian games are few and far between, and that's probably because most of them suck. Catechumen is a standout title for all the wrong reasons, mainly because it's a God-fearing first-person shooter. Shoot lasers from your sword at the evil people until they're so weak they have no choice but to pray and be converted. Wow. Not to mention every last aspect of the design is so screwed up it's borderline unplayable. This has got to be sacrilege. Number 5. Cyber Gladiators I don't understand this one. I remember seeing some ads or something promotional saying that this game was all state-of-the-art crazy and awesome. They had to have been on drugs from another universe. Cyber Gladiators may just be the worst fighter on the PC, and one of the worst, period. It is brain-numbingly simple, just kick and dodge every so often, and the revolutionary graphics are just laughable. They look like there's something wrong and there is zero replay value even with other fighters. Absolutely nothing is enjoyable about this. Number 4, Winter Race 3D. Well, it's obviously a budget title, so you can't expect much of it, but wow. Winter Race 3D is one broken freaking game. And when I say nothing works, I mean nothing works. The controls half the time don't respond, and when they do, they're impressively jacked up. Anytime you collide with something, you bounce 90 degrees in a random direction. Is this a racing game or a pinball machine? The gameplay is stupid, the goals are non-existent, and the graphics... Uh, uh. I've tried to figure this one out, but I really just cannot see how this one got anywhere near the store shelves. This is so rubbish, it's classy. Number 3, Speed Rage. If you're a connoisseur of bad games, this is a very guilty pleasure. Speed Rage is legendarily bad, and for good reason. Nothing works. Nothing! I think it's supposed to be a racing game, but I am actually not sure. I'm not even sure if it qualifies as a game. It's more like an exercise in self-preservation, as in how long can you make yourself sit through this until killing the game before you kill yourself. Number 2. Extreme Bull Rider. I thought Winter Race 3D and Speed Rage was bad until I played this. I'm... I'm speechless. I mean, it almost looks like somebody tried to make this a game, and then got distracted by cheese or something. Nothing makes any sense, much less works at all in an even remotely playable way. This is just... wow. Every last bit of this game pisses me off. I find it incomprehensible that this is real. Somebody pinch me. No, shoot me. The only way this could get any worse is if not one single part of the game worked at all. I mean, at least things move around somewhat how you'd expect, and there's collision detection sometimes, which is far more than what I can say for our grand prize winner, number one. Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. I've seen better gameplay on a vending machine. 